Hi, we're John and Angie. We love to eat, we love to travel, and oh, did I mention, we're dealing with infertility too. Come join us on our journey through this thing we call life. I haven't started my period yet. I've been feeling a little weird. So I decided that I'm gonna take a pregnancy test and I am hopeful, but I also realize that it's probably gonna be negative. So, we shall see what pregnancy test has to say. All right, so here we go. All right, so this has to wait how many minutes? usually three to five minutes or whatever um but i've done this enough to know you don't have to wait that long so it looks negative well there's like this little part of the first line that looks a little odd to me but it's really hard to see It's just like a little part, so I think it might just be like a dye or something that's like a little weird right there. I don't know. That looks like a kind of faint line to me. Maybe I'll take another one in a minute or in a little bit. This is also midday. So it's not as concentrated. And I'm assuming if I am pregnant, it would be a really super early pregnancy. a little weird to me. It's so hard to tell. It doesn't look like anything there, but when you look at it close up, it looks a little weird. see this it's usually like completely like white like there's nothing it's just weird that it would show up like right there I'm gonna go show John and see what he thinks Interesting. Are you on the phone? No, it's not. It's hard to see here. No, like here, it looks like nothing. Maybe it was just lighting. Let's go. Let's go look. Let's bring it up to the light. Don't touch that. That's where I peed. No, I was gonna. I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna like angle it down on the thing. Just like, yeah, here it looks like absolutely nothing. Where where'd you do it? Hold this real quick. Yeah. In the bathroom. Yeah, I think it's nothing. You want to go look in the bathroom? Yeah, we can go. 
Excuse me. What? That's my butt, not your butt. Oh, that was my butt. Is that my butt too? No. See, now it looks like nothing. That's of weird. course. That's weird. It looked like something just two seconds ago. That's weird. I wonder what that means. I mean, not something like super, like, yeah, it's something. Yeah, like but we've still. had like a just tiny. This one came, this one popped up. I should take another one of the, uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm sure. Because you know how, like, you always want to take them in the morning because, like, the levels are high or whatever. It's more concentrated. Like, I'm getting, like, the sore. Oh, really? Not a lot, though. Just a little, a little bit. bit. But, like, I don't know. If you kind of, like, look right there. It's on the outside. There's, like, a little dark you spot. You see, like, that dark spot right yeah, there? Yeah, I know what you mean. And normally when I get it, it's, like, stark white. Although it does look stark white right now. So, who knows? We'll see. Go check it out. Check it out tomorrow. It's odd that it disappeared. It's weird. Huh? But, I mean... It says to wait a little while to look, and that's probably why, because the dye goes through the thing. So maybe it stopped there for a minute, but usually if it stops there, that's because you're pregnant. But it sucks to, like, not know what the hell is going on with my body. It's really annoying, huh? Yep. I feel like I just want to know, like, one way or the other what is going on it's like but, this whole provera thing just caused like a problem it's like how did that help it just made it more confusing it's like okay wait so am i pregnant can i get pregnant in this period of time did the provera just cause me to have a big cyst and like now that's another problem or if you remember i was thinking about it the other day mm -hmm. remember our first iui they put me on provera right yes and remember when we went into that very first ultrasound and I broke down crying because they said I had a cyst and we may not be able to move forward? Yeah. That was the only time I had a cyst. What if the Provera causes the cyst? The RE? Mm-hmm. If he would have thought that it was, it was going to be a problem, he probably would have said that, you know? Yeah, I, I don't think... I don't know. It's just... It's just very, like, odd to me because it's like... First of all, I've never heard of a fake period before. Although he didn't call it a fake period. Let me give him some credit for that. He called it not a real period. I just call it a fake period because, I mean, if it's not real, it's fake, right? Mm -hmm. Um, But it was just like, dude, this is my every time of the month period. Like, this is how my periods are. So if it's a fake period or not a real period, you guys are probably tired of hearing about periods, but... If it's, I mean, I don't know what else it is. It's not like it's like I have weird periods that are like, you know, irregular. These are my regular periods. Maybe I didn't ovulate, but I just feel like he should have just put me on birth control. I think he was trying to avoid prolonging it, yeah. like prolonging the cycle so I could start sooner to be within like our, our time period. Mm -hmm. But I think it just made more problems. And it's like now my body is weird and it's like, honestly, I just think I'm going to start my period when I'm supposed to start my period. Like, I don't think this medication did anything, except maybe it made me ovulate or whatever instead of not ovulating. But that cyst was really big. That was a 33 millimeter cyst. It was interesting. Was and that's like size. too big, I think. Yeah, that was interesting. It was that size. Because normally when we did IUI and we triggered, it was like 18. Mm -hmm. I mean, it grows like a couple millimeters every day, but... And usually we would trigger and then go in within like 24 to 48 hours or whatever. Yeah. But then, let's say, if we triggered when it was 18, by the time we went in there, it was only like 22. Not 33, yeah, you know? that's big. Makes you wonder. So it's like... I don't know. And now I wish we wouldn't have abstained because maybe we could have caught that cyst before it got too big. Too big. Yeah. But I was thinking that's what I needed to do because we were about to start treatment mm -hmm. and I didn't want to cause any problems. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's just kind of go with the flu right now. Yeah, it's got to wait and see. Basically, it's like that's the hardest part is waiting and seeing what happens, you know? But that's like, the game of infertility. It's always a waiting game. Yeah. You know, it's always a waiting game. So yeah, the reality of infertility is taking a million pregnancy tests, hoping for a positive result and never getting it. Or in my case, 
getting it, rarely, but getting it, and then getting it all taken away. Yeah, just in time to get your hopes up, right? Yep, that's the way it works around here. And better news, we got appointments for our COVID vaccine on Friday. We are going to do the uh, Johnson & Johnson vaccine um, because that was the one that was available. And it's Friday at noon, it's one shotter. And we are super excited because we want to move on with our lives and be able to do more fun stuff. So yeah, we'll give you updates on that one. All right, so it's later in the evening. I'm gonna try to take one more. I'll probably take one in the morning too, but just wanna see what this one has to say. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm expecting it to be negative, um, but I don't know. We will see what it says. Um, today is technically cycle day 22, so if it was a regular period, I would expect it to be way too early. But since I took the Provera, my cycle, I think, is way off and I have no idea what's going on. So it's hard to tell when the right time to test would be. Um, so I took the pregnancy test. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yep, that's looking like a negative to me. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes, but. Uh, not very helpful. So, let's see. Dude, it's lying again. What the heck? I'm telling you, it's there. Dude, it is there. I'm not losing my mind. I thought it was just on the other one. But, let's see if I can... the faintest line there at the top and at the bottom but not all the way through I'm not sure John is downstairs working out but I want him to get his booty up here so I can show him so I'm going to call him and see if he'll come up here all right, so I just called him and he's on his way up. Hopefully it doesn't disappear before he makes it up here, like last time, because that was weird. Um, I'm going to stop drinking caffeine if this is the case, because I wonder if progesterone would give it like a false positive, but I stopped so long ago. Again, with infertility, it's like you're constantly second guessing yourself. Like, I never believe I'm actually pregnant until I have like a million pregnancy tests and the doctor confirms it because it would be just my luck for me not to be pregnant after I got a million tests saying that I am because yeah, that's how life works around here. So, I always get it confirmed and that's when I celebrate, but it always seems around the ultrasounds that they, well, no, the last ultrasound went right and went well, but the first one didn't even need the second one. The pregnancy didn't even get to get to the ultrasound point. I don't know. I have so much trauma associated with pregnancy, it's ridiculous. I need to find a better place for you. Because I feel like this angle isn't great. Isn't great at all. Here she comes. Hopefully it didn't disappear again. Alright. 
So, take a look. Oh yeah, I see where Do I see where see it was. It? Yeah, I see where it's at. I see the little dark spot. If I look at it from this side, I see it. Here, look at it like that. Yeah, doesn't can't you see something? You see that right there? Mm-hmm. That's weird. And it was like that on the one earlier, even though, I mean, you could see it a little bit on the one earlier that I showed you, but yeah. I feel like this one is a little more pronounced. I actually think that you, I think you should do it tomorrow morning. I'm going to do it in the morning. Because, um, well, no, that'll give you the best, like, um, test. You, I can see it right there from here. Maybe I'll take a better one tomorrow, too. Okay. I'll yeah. take both. Good, good. Infertility, you always have a million yeah, pregnancy tests uh -huh. nice. and ovulation tests handy. Yep. So, um, tomorrow, I guess we'll let you know the result, but mm -hmm. it's looking. That was, that was the four. Jonathan, jeez. That was the four. That was the looking that was interesting. Wouldn't that be crazy? And hopefully, if it's true, That'd be cool. then the infertility doctor can help us keep the pregnancy. Yeah. That means we got to start that progesterone and oil ASAP. So, we'll let you know what goes on tomorrow. Yeah. I just can't get over the fact that I might be pregnant. I can't believe it. I try not to get my hopes up. But it's really hard not to get my hopes up. So I'm going to call the RU tomorrow and see if they'll let me come in early. I'm supposed to go in on Wednesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. And see if they'll actually test not only my progesterone, but test my um, HCG level. So, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. It's crazy. Good morning. I literally just woke up. And I am going to go try to take another pregnancy test and see what it says. So, let's see. Alright, let's check out the results. First guy is negative, and the test determined that was a lie. At least I have something funny to say. So, story of my life. It's a roller coaster. Some days you think you're pregnant, and the next day you're not. So, I don't know. We'll see what the doctor says tomorrow. I'm not going to try to go in today anymore, but we'll see what the doctor says tomorrow when I go in and get my progesterone taken and see if he has any ideas on what the heck is going on around here. But, we had a nice little eight hour session of thinking we were pregnant and planning and doing all that and now it's gone so we'll see what the doctor says like i said love you love you